This is a video about how to maintain the boiler at 133 Elmer Avenue. Um, this is the boiler. It has some primary components that I'll show you. Um, right here we have the uh, low water cutoff valve. This pressure gauge is almost meaningless. There's never any pressure in the boiler. Um, but the low water cutoff valve is important. Um, there is uh, there will be sediment that collects down here on the bottom of it that needs to be drained out every week. Um, this is the sight glass. It shows the level of the water in the boiler. It's green. The water is green because there's an additive that um, helps to minimize the corrosion. Um, that additive will be replaced uh, if it turns blue uh, or turns red. I'll sh show you that. Um, and then over here we have two other valves that also have to be drained. This valve here comes from behind the furnace, but it's just at the low point in the bottom of the furnace. Um, this valve here um, is uh, connected to this elbow right here, which is very small. And uh, this is the return leg um, here. This is the return leg coming from the house. And any sediment that comes from the house tends to collect in this little tiny fitting here. And this is the uh, fresh water uh, fill. There's a valve here that you, use, you open up to fill the fresh water. And if that uh, little tiny fitting down at the bottom gets clogged up here, then you can't, uh, water doesn't go into fill. So we drain it out here just to clear that. So the process is basically put this can underneath this. First, first put it underneath that pipe there, which is coming from the uh, low water cutoff. Open up this valve, and you'll see muddy looking green water come out. Just open and close the valve a few times until the water kind of looks not muddy anymore. A couple of times did it this time. Um, and then move the can here, open up this valve. And first it'll be green, and then it'll turn brown looking, and then it'll turn green again. And that's just enough to drain off the bottom. And then finally, move to this valve and open it up. And again, we're just clearing out a little bit of sediment at the bottom. And then the can can be dumped out in the, um, in the sink that's right near the boiler here. And that's all there is to draining it. Um, do this once a week. And then looking at the sight glass, open up this valve here to let fresh water come in and fill it. Until it's about two thirds or three quarters of the way full. And that's, uh, that's all you have to do. Um, so that's the weekly maintenance, and then periodically, if that water turns red, that's in the sight glass, then what you want... Okay, so when the water in the sight glass turns red, you have to add this additive, and all you have to do to do that is to take this thing off. You just um, swivel the, this part here up and around, and then use it for a handle to loosen up this valve. Take the valve off, then put the, uh, the treatment in that in that pipe there. I use this uh, as a funnel. It doesn't thread in correctly, but it threads in enough that you can kind of get it to stay there. And then you take this treatment and you shake it up to make sure that the powder is all loose. And then you pour the powder in there, and I take a screwdriver to kind of rattle it around and make the powder go down and then you can take the empty bottle and put some water in it and pour it through to uh, you know rinse things down in there and then you take the funnel off of there and you put this valve back on there final thing is that um, there's a very very slight possibility that um, the pilot light could go out this is the gas valve this here is the thermocouple that goes underneath to the pilot light. And if you look 
underneath. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's a there. You see where those two screws are right there, and there's a flame. Um, that's uh, that's the pilot light. And to change the thermocouple, you have to take those two screws loose, and you have to take this fitting right here off. And here's a spare thermocouple. Um, and uh, again, the probability of that going bad is almost nil. And um, if need be, I'd have a plumber come and um, put the thermocouple in.